Hello, welcome to this Combo 123 session. I'm Ewan Talok, one of the founders of the ITOP project, and today I will describe how to run a CSV import in ITOP. In my example, I will import uh, some contacts, which are persons, in the applications. To run an import, the best way is to export data from ITOP in order to get an Excel template, so via the Excel export for example, and then fill the data in the Excel template in order to load them in ITOP. So in my example, I have already few data. I have the header of the column that are the attributes I would like to load, last name, first name, a link to an organization, the status, and I will add additional data to this Excel document. For example, name one, uh, first name, one okay and i will just add a few additional items let's say 50 50 contacts i will select the organizations they belong to for example a few are in the it department and the others are in the organization demo all of them are active contacts and I can as well define the organizations they belong to. So for example, some are in Grenoble and some are in, for example, Paris. For the purpose of these demonstrations, I can as well move someone from an organization to another and we will see how the import, CSV import behave. And as in my data model, emails are not mandatory for those users. I won't select emails. Okay, and maybe for those one, I can change them. And voluntary, I will create some errors. So for example, I will say that this user belongs to the test organization, which is not existing in my uh, in my application. So we will see what happened. And let's see. So now what I just have to do is either I save this file uh, to a CSV format, okay, or I will just copy past the data from my Excel document. So if you don't have carriage return uh, in your Excel cells, this would work, else you will have to save the data uh, into a CSV file. So now I go back to ITOP and in the data administration section, I will click on the CSV import button. Here I can either load a CSV file and select the character set or copy past the data. In that case, the character set is always UTF-8. Next. The system try to identify the separator character, the text qualifier, okay? Most of the time you will consider the first line to be the header of the columns in order to do uh, fields mapping. Then I select the element I would like to import. So in my case, it's person. So as you can see, all ITOP elements can be imported. The mapping is done automatically because I have the good uh, headers, but if I want, I can change the mapping or uh, ignore the fields if I want. I will be able to define the search criteria, so which columns I use to identify uh, uniquely my element in ITOP. So in that case, I use the name, the last name, the first name, the organization, and as I've not set emails for all the users, for example, I will uncheck the email okay so i will look for people with the name the first name and the organization then the system will simulate the import so the data are not imported but it will tell me what will be done if i run the import so some elements won't be changed some elements will be updated for example for pablo picasso we update the location so we will move from grenoble to paris some are added and if there is consistency errors for example here i would like to link the user name 11 first name 11 to the organization test that is not existing in itop the system tell me that there will be an error so all the lines will be loaded except this one <laughs> so now i run the import the system validates what it will do 
and now he is updating the database by adding new contacts if they are not existing and updating those that are existing. Here is, here is it, my report is done and now in my applications I have not 13 contacts but a little bit more, 58, that, will be, that are loaded via the CSV import. Thanks for joining this session and now it's up to you to load data in your application.